Snow. Mud. Snow. More mud. Really old Jeep. I hate living in Canada sometimes. I hate living in Canada sometimes. Why is that? Do you have any new shoes? Yeah. Can we see the new shoes? So we just got like six pa actually fuck, I got like a lot of new shoes. Yo, hang on, hang on, let me grab all these. But wait, there's more. Yeah, it was a busy week. Whoa, these are old. Jeez, what year did these come out? Like 2011 or something. Wow. Yeah, These are old. Wow. These are my size. Oh, seven? Seven, yeah. Wow, these are my size. 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 I already own these, these, these. These are nice, though. I would consider owning these. Ooh. Nice. Very, very, very nice. I think these are the 2011 ones. Actually. Yeah, those are 2011s. Ooh. Some Bordeaux. These ones have been worn. I don't know why but I slept on these when these came out in like, what, 2014? They sat on shelves forever. And this is a Jordan you could wear every day. I don't even think, I don't own any Jordan 7s. I need to buy a pair of Jordan 7s. So for your size Hardens. 13, we got some really dope Hardens actually. Nice. That's a wild, like, I don't know, man. It's got so many colors going on. If I was my size, I'd probably rock it. But these salmon joints. Woo! I love I these know. things. I love these. People roasted me for liking these. Some guy came in here and he was looking at them the other day. And he's like, yo, these are so sick, man. You know, it's just like, it's like holding a nice fish, you know? And I was like, yeah, that's what people say when they're, <laughs> <laughs> when they're looking at sneakers. <laughs> but yeah, you know, you ever just hold a shoe and it's just like a good fish? Yeah, Eric has a lot of new shoes and that's sort of been inspiring me and making me think like what the heck am I doing with all of these shoes? Because there's shoes that I want to buy and the very expensive shoes that I want to buy. I want to get the Miami Art Festival pink Jordan 1s and the, the light green ones. Both of those go for $2,500 give or take in my size because size 12 is pretty much impossible to find in those. I want to get the new off-white Jordan 1s. Those ones go for like $1,700 in my size because size 12 is just unfortunately more expensive. I want to get the black and gold patent leather Jordan 1s which go for like $2,500 in... Oh my goodness, that is a lot of money. But if I sell those for 250 and those for 150 and those for 300 and those for 110 and those for 85, they add up and add up and add up and not only do I get to clear out space and get rid of shoes that I'm quite frankly not wearing, I get to get like grail sneakers that I've always wanted. Cause let's face it, I love wearing Jordan 1s, I love wearing Jordan 3s, Jordan 4s, Ultra Boost, Yeezys. I really don't wear a lot besides like maybe six, seven, eight, maybe 10 models at the most that I wear consistently. And I love what I love and I just don't wear what I don't love. And I have all the, you guys get the point of what I'm saying. I have some expensive sneakers that I plan on picking up over the next year. And at least in my mind, it makes it a lot easier to pick those up when I don't actually have to spend money. I just need to get rid of other shoes from my collection that I already wasn't wearing. Speaking of spending money, I sort of want to go to Livestock and see what they have. I don't even care what they have here anymore. I just found out that it is confirmed that we are getting all three colorways of the Pharrells this week. Oh my freaking goodness, I am excited for those. I'm so excited for those. I don't know if it's raffle, I don't know if it's camp out. They don't even know yet. They haven't heard from head office. We'll find out soon. If it's camp out, Last week or two weeks ago when the white ones came out, I showed up like three hours before release. Not early enough. Not early enough in the slightest. Uh, I'm gonna show up the night before if they're doing first come first serve because they are amazing, especially those black and purple ones. So nice. 
I need those in my life. So hopefully I can get those with some new stuff we have at Livestock. These are great. I've wanted a pair of Air Max ones for the longest time ever. This is honestly one I would consider picking up. It sort of feels like a grape colorway, like the grape fives, but just with a little bit more teal. Actually, they match this Adidas collaboration perfectly with Nice Kicks. Um, these are really, really, really fresh. They still have the flyknit shadows. Remember when the breads were so popular that they sold out on release date? Craziness. Now no one wants the flyknit Jordan ones at all. I know I was clowning on these earlier last week in New York for just being really, really bright, and they are really, really, really bright. Like, don't get me wrong, these things are freaking way too bright and loud. But what they have here is one that I'm actually interested in checking out. These ones right here, the black and white, the salt and pepper, the Oreo, I don't know what you want to call these ones. I like these ones a lot better. These are a lot more wearable. I've always wanted to try out the uh, the tennis human race or whatever these are called. I don't even know. There's no hype on them anymore. So now maybe I could actually pick up a pair of these. Whew. These are beautiful. I think these just came out this week sometime. The red carpet EQT 9317s. All black, everything. Leather, suede, mesh, and then bang, red bottom. These red lace tips too, which is pretty sweet. Wow, really nice, really nice. I'm not gonna pick these up. I mean, I have five, six pairs of these already, so I do not need another, but great colorway. Okay, best Ultra Boost color I've seen in a long time. Black bottom, white boost, and the sort of like irony green, forest green with some gray in there. I don't know how to describe this color, but it is what it looks like on camera. It's showing up perfectly. But then that white heel cup, that's what makes this shoe if you ask me. If they put the gray green heel cup, then it's just another eh, ultra boost, whatever. We've seen them before. But that white heel cup, that makes this shoe just so much better in my mind. Okay, these things are still calling my name. I'm gonna need to try these out. Okay, now I remember why. I haven't bought a pair of these yet. They like have no support. My foot's sliding around in here already and I haven't even tried to get up in these. They look really nice. Like I really like how they look, but. Oh, gross, gross, gross guys. Do not wear nice shoes. I'm wearing the black toe ones right now. I guarantee you half the comment section is roasting me already. There is muddy puddles everywhere. These things are getting ruined. Oh, this is Winnipeg for like the next month. It is, ugh, I'm so happy I'm going out of the city a lot for the next month because ugh, ugh, this is gross. On the bright side though, it is absolutely beautiful outside. Everything's finally starting to melt, which is great. It's like actually two degrees Celsius, which is awesome as well. Definitely not complaining about that. Ah, I wish those Pharrells were like better shoes because they look really nice, at least in my opinion, and I would like to buy a pair, but you put them on and your foot's just sliding around back and forth and back and forth. That's really all I have to say about them. They just have no support. Besides that, amazing pair of kicks. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed watching today's video. More importantly, I hope you've enjoyed your day in general and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Guys, let me know what you think of all the kicks we took a look at today. Tomorrow is going to be an insane video, one that you guys need to make sure to tune into. Hit that like button for all you guys that have not already. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at TheRealRayRay20. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I'll catch you very, very soon, tomorrow in fact, with a brand new video. So until then, peace.